Wow, thank you so much. I want to uh, welcome you uh, to this uh, daily devotion. And today I don't want to preach, I want to talk briefly on families. And I want to talk on things that can help our families so that uh, we can have healthy families. I want to believe all of us are uh, working out and living with our families and we have a lot of time together. I want to say that healthy families will share uh, unique characteristics that form the backbone of their board. And healthy relationships provide support, they provide encouragement and empathy for the family. A loving and warm family is a source of happiness and stability. It gives members a sense of belonging. A homely atmosphere with love and unity brings forth growth and development to the family. It is important, therefore, to, to cultivate a healthy family. I want to go through some uh, points or some things that can help us uh, get uh, uh, that healthy family. And uh, maybe before I go to talk about those points, I want to say that uh, a healthy family is very important because, it help, one, it helps children's sound emotional and intellectual development. When we have a healthy family, our children will develop well, emotionally, intellectually, and even emotionally. When we have healthy families, it will help resolve children's behavioral and psychological growth, such as learning, eating, sleeping. It is in families that we are trained, or we train our children how to live well and behave among us, some uh, issues and some things. It's again also on families that we train uh, children, or we are trained to resolve and overcome conflicts. And uh, because in families that is where we are taught to be, to, 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 we are taught uh, to, be, to be stable, uh, even when we are very emotional and we can resolve any issue that comes uh, on us. Families, again, help the families help us enhance a sense of responsibility. We are responsible. Children will learn from their parents and see what they are doing and they will grow learning and knowing that uh, they, will, they are going to become responsible. And we, we have talked uh, or taught uh, in, some, uh, in our, in our grown, growing up about the roles, the roles of a mother, the roles of a father. And most of, more often than not, these roles are learned in the families. When we see young people, young men and women getting married and they, they have confused the roles, it is maybe or probably they never got it very well in the uh, family setup. So a family is a very important uh, group and a basic unit in uh, which can help us uh, build that, um, uh, that uh, force that will help somebody even when he or she is grown up and goes to establish his or her family, uh, he or she has everything that it takes so that he's able or he or she is able to run. Number one, or how we can uh, form or create healthy families is number one, we must create fun moments with our families. Healthy families spend quality time together doing enjoyable activities. Try to look for time. Like now we have, we have a lot of hours and time at, times at home. Over and above the normal routines that we are doing, let us create some fun opportunities and fun moments. Sit on a dining table together and eat together. Do, do some preparation, food preparation together. Somebody moja fanya hi, mwigini afanya hi, mwigini akate kitungu, mwigini akate nyanya. Let us make those chores. Not just one man, man uh, uh, responsibility, the mother only, but we can sometimes join in the kitchen and assign duties and make cooking fun. We create some fun, fun moment together. When it comes to eating, let us eat together in a, a round table and share meals. Exchange stories, where we have come from, chats, talk of what we have happened. Sometimes switch on that TV, switch off, I mean switch off that TV, switch off those mobile phones, sit round together and chat on one on one. Talk of where you have come from. Tell your children, let them know where you have come from to where you are. Very, it's very, very important. They will appreciate the efforts that you have made, and they will know that they will be required also 
to work hard to get to some point. You know, there are some, some of uh, the children who think that life has always been the way you are living. Let them know where you have come from. It is very, very important. Point number two, for a family to be healthy, there is need for respect. We must respect one another. Respect to one another is a crucial element to maintain a healthy family relationship. Respect, affection, and calmness are elements that maintain peace when a disagreement arises. When you respect that other person, you cannot scream or yell at him or her, but you will be, 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 be careful to wait and give him or her some time because you respect her, you respect him, so that uh, you can resolve issues. Therefore, being aware of irregular periods in family life um, helps to stay calm as the cloud passes. You know, those irregular periods, irregular times, when there are difficulties and somebody is annoyed or is not able to cope with or the, the, is not comfortable with what you are doing, it will help you to be calm. If you respect that person, you'll be calm and wait for that crowd to pass. So do not shout to, at one another. Don't try to work it out in front of children who see You know, don't talk to those things. Maintain my, my differences if you respect. Uh, one another. Another point that is very important to building a healthy family is effective communication. Effective communication. Enlarging, engaging in real and meaningful conversations helps members to communicate on a deeper level. When I talk of deeper level, it means there are times that we communicate, but we communicate on a very shallow level. Whether it's to share their feelings, achievements, or experiences, it means a lot to each individual. Constructive criticism and feedback are made clear by use of positive words, and hence members take no offense of those criticism. So some, of, uh, some points are to help us enhance good communication is that we need to express, always express yourself in simple terms that are easy to understand and make things clear. You know, there are people who are very communicate, complicated in their communication. They, they just complicate, you know, you, you are saying this, but you are unapitia bari, just make things clear. There is no reward, there is, there is no gold, there is no honor for you being complicated to your spouse, to your children, to your parents. Make things clear, emphasize on trust to clear doubt in all circumstances. One of the greatest problems that we are having in families is doubting. You are telling somebody this, na nasema tu ni wongo. Are you sure? I try as much as possible to emphasize trust so that all the doubts are cleared. Then be honest and be open. Communication is paramount as it openness and Honesty in communication is paramount because it helps members to have a common goal to seek solution in all situations. And number four, be genuine to maintain trust and make a healthy relation. Be genuine. Don't be saying this when you mean the other thing. And if anybody knows or notices that you are not genuine, there is no time that he or she will uh, trust you. Then finally, which is very, very important on communication, listen actively to ensure that each member feels understood and listened to. Listened to. You know, there, there, there are times that we don't want to listen, and that is one of the, our, our big, biggest unmake, uh, undoing, that we don't want to listen. We want to talk, 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 and listen. I remember sometimes in school, uh, we, there was a teacher who was telling us, me talk, you talk, who hear who? When everybody of us talk, who will hear who? So just be, train yourself to be a reasoner. And when you are reasoning, reason actively. Reason with your ears. Reason with your eyes. Reason with your emotions. So that you can enhance that communication. Another point uh, that uh, can make a family healthy is teamwork and commitment. Teamwork. When we are working as a, as a team, everyone is able to contribute because they all understand where we stand. Therefore, it helps to have a clear expectation, limits and boundaries. 
So when we, 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 we work together, we come up with solutions, all of us. It is not a one-man show. It is not waiting for somebody to go and do miracles to get thing, things, uh, food in the, in the, in the, on the table. It is us thinking, what do we need to do? And especially at this time of COVID-19, the issue of teamwork is needed. Everybody can contribute to doing something. You can think of, can we go out and do some uh, kitchen garden? Look for something that you can do together to, so that you can work on. If, when you have that food uh, 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 kitchen garden and uh, you have assigned tomorrow it is you who is going to water that garden or do whatever, it, it, it brings out that unity and helps people to work towards a goal. Allow children to make their own decisions also. These, we are living in times when our children are questioning everything that we do. Let them also make decisions. Involve them in the decisions that you are making. And um, uh, finally, another very good uh, thing that can help families become healthy is appreciate, appreciating each other. Valuing your family is at the heart of healthy family relationships. It's good to acknowledge each other's achievement and show appreciation for the effort made to reach their goals. Appreciate small things. Just appreciate. Sometimes you talk of uh, as we, uh, appreciation is like rewarding. You must not go to a supermarket or anywhere to buy a gift. Just telling somebody, well done. Just telling somebody, thank you. That I'm telling you is a lot and can change and transform that person to want or even to do better. And it brings some harmony in the family. So uh, appreciating each other is important because it shows that you are taking interest in each other's lives. You are not just living together as a family, but you have an interest of that other person. Let everybody participate. Uh, that is, uh, and appreciate the person who did well. And uh, it, it will bring about some harmony in your family. Share exciting family stories at the memory. Memories. Something that one, somebody in your family did that made your family to be like pushed forward or ahead. Share those uh, moments, exciting family stories, and it will uh, make you uh, grow together. And um, uh, the very last point is spiritual devotional. Always pray together. There is a, 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 some uh, posters that we used to hang in the house that says a family that prays together stays together. Always have some devotion together. Read the word of God, somebody to expound it, uh, somebody to make a prayer in the morning when you wake up, in the evening before you go to, 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 to bed, Shared those devotionals as, and as you live together. Those are just some few tips that can help us have healthy families. And especially at these times of COVID-19, when we have families having difficulties, uh, kindly try and practice those few things and it you could uh, uh, be walking to greater glory for your family. And uh, I pray that God gives you healthy families where everybody feels that he's appreciated, he's needed, she's needed, he's accepted, and that is where uh, you belong. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for this uh, time that you have given us to share on families. And how we pray that you, God, you continue helping us as we live in our families and in our homes, that God, Father, will continue yearning and wanting to grow so that our families may be healthier, we may be more united, there may, will be more love, there will be more sharing to the glory and the honor of your name. Bless all our families, Lord, Father, and help us to be meaningful to one another. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.